Hello everyone, welcome again to the... <laughs> <Beep. laughs> Hello everyone, welcome again to the world according to Jason. I am your host, Jason, as always, and this is Nene Baby Girl. And once again, we are coming at you, we are sequestered in the Avengers janitorial closet, and we have some other snacks to, to share with you today. And this is part three of a, I don't know how many part series is gonna be because I have so many Israeli snacks that came from my friend Netta that it's gonna be a while before we work through all of them. But today we have another eight to share with you today, so we're super excited to get started. Yeah, definitely. I mean, some of these look really good. All right. Doo. All right, so we have a total of eight snacks we're gonna be trying today, a mixture of savory and sweet. And some of these um, didn't really survive the shipping uh, from <laughs> Israel to the US. They they kind of got smushed into uh, little crumbs, but we'll still be able to taste them. Yeah, still be All tasting. All right, them. so uh, Nene, since you are the guest today, mm -hmm. I will let you choose where we begin. Let's try the smushedest ones first. This, the crummiest <laughs> ones? All right, so that one is number 25. 25? It's just in a chip form, or in crumb form. Crumb form, that's it. <laughs> so, yeah, let's I wasn't ahead. here for this one, so I don't know what it's gonna taste like, yeah. so I'm kinda... I remember them tasting really good. So yeah, they kinda have like a smoky taste. So yeah, let's give it, let's give it a shot. Are there any uh, chunks in there? Eh, there's a couple. Does it oh, smell like the other one? Yeah, it smells, yeah. It smells the, the flavor smells the same, so yeah. Okay, it's not too bad. Not too, I was envisioning too, like just tiny just nothing little... nothing but crumbs? Yeah, tiny little crumbs, so I'm gonna take oh. this little... This will form like one chip. Mmm. That's right. It was like a barbecue flavor. Mm -hmm. I'm remembering it now. That, that is solid. Good. That is really good. That is really good. I'm enjoying that. Yeah. I would munch on these any day. I could eat this whole bag right now. Yeah, just, well, you could just like kind of drink it almost. Shovel it in. Those are really good. This is really solid. I am thoroughly pleased with this. I think they're better, better than our barbecue flavored chip. Because it's more of a smoky, smoky yeah. more I, of a smoky barbecue. Yeah, but. I would say this is better than some of our barbecue chicks for sure. I'm gonna start, this one, I'm gonna start, this is another like video where we're starting off with a real high, high bar. Yeah. I'm gonna give these a nine. I really liked them a lot. I would go nine. Yeah, I think a nine's a good score for those because those are really, really tasty. I could seriously just eat the rest of them right now. Super good. Thank you for sending these, Neto. Yes, these are you. really delicious. What's next? Let's see. <clears throat> Um, okay, so these are just like really catching my eye. Okay, and I don't know do if it. we should we save those for. No, let's do it. Let's go ahead and do it. So it's twenty nine. So oh man, okay, I'm gonna butcher this. So Netta and any of my friends that may be watching from Israel or that speak um, Hebrew, I really apologize. Shkedi, 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 Mark. I don't know. <laughs> You want to try? No. <laughs> no. So please forgive that horrible pronunciation, but this is, uh, Marek is a, is a soup in Hebrew, so so this, uh, so these genius suckers are meant to pour over soup, almost any soup, and they are salty and crunchy and oh. fun and so, so, so popular here. They're like a cracker. Yeah, there's basically a bag in every household, and I wait every year for Passover, so they release the gluten-free version and stock up. So these so are not gluten-free, gluten oh, okay. because I think they only the gluten-free versions come out once a year. Oh, okay. These are supposed to go on a soup, but we don't have any soup here. We're just going to taste them and imagine as if we yes. had soup, uh, a bowl of soup, of hearty soup. That's probably why they're in a bowl. Oh, yeah, and, I, and we think we discovered a, a little, like, resealable, like, flippy flop. We'll, we'll see. If it is, that's really cool. Well, you want to try it? See if it's... You think it opens up right here? Yeah. Maybe it pours out, maybe? Yeah. Or is it just the sealer? I think it's just a, I think it's just to, like, pull it off and then, like, roll oh, it down. Oh, seal the bag? Yeah. And then you pull it off and you roll it back down and oh, then okay, seal okay. it. Oh, okay, okay. All right. Like some pastas have on yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, well, let's give it a shot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The whole... Shower. Oh, wow, they're smaller than I thought they would be. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah, they, they look good. It's just... They're like little... So I'm gonna imagine this kind of going in like a nice, like, hearty vegetable soup. Yep. So... Ooh. Ooh. I can see that those would, like, retain their crunchiness mm -hmm. for a while. Because the one thing about, like, whenever I put, like, saltine crackers in the soup is you gotta, like, 
eat them you gotta eat them really fast, <laughs> otherwise they just get into a soggy mush. And I could see these lasting a while. Man, these would be really, I can see where these would be good in soup. I mean, a lot of different soups, like a really, like a good chicken noodle soup too. Ooh, yeah, good chicken noodle soup or mm -hmm. a vegetable soup. Or like a tomato. Even like a clam chowder, I think those would be yeah, good. Yeah, that would be good on a clam chowder or tomato, anything. I can see these. Any the soup. soup. <laughs> yeah, I, I understand now, I understand. Yeah, Very so good. I can see why these are in every household. Those are good. They're not bad just by themselves. Yeah. All right, well, I mean, I'm going to give them an eight because they're, they're an awesome little additive to soup to make soup that much better. Definitely. I'll say eight. I'll so say 8.5. 8.5. Alright. 8.5. It's got to be a little bit better. Those were solid. Those were really good. There's a lot in there too. Yeah. I, it's going to take They're, a while to work ooh. through that. This is Reva La Sheva, which means quarter to seven, apparently. And they are wafers filled with hazelnut cream covered in milk chocolate. Yes, please. Yeah. So this fun fact, this is only rumored, but people believe that it got its name after the British snack after eight that was oriented in its flavors to a more grown up crowd. So they chose an hour that is after kids go to bed. Quarter to seven is an hour kids just finished dinner and get a small dessert. So it's a great option for them. Hmm. The flavors are much more kids friendly. Well, I mean, I'm like a grown up kid. You know, I'm a kid stuck I'm definitely a kid. So. I might. <laughs> oh, these got a little crushed too. They got kind of crushed. Well, I'm gonna take this one here. Yeah, it's not as, not crushed. as crushed. Ooh, these look good. Right. Boop. Mm. Oh, wow. Oh, that hazelnut. Mm-hmm. Mm. Bad idea, giving these to kids right before they go to bed. <laughs> They're gonna Lots be of sugar, sugar high. Mmm. <laughs> yeah. Bro, very good, bro. Mm -hmm. They're very delicious. I very could, good. I could eat this whole this whole sleeve right now. That is very good. If you like Nutella, you like hazelnut, this is definitely a, a winner. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna give this a ten. We need to find out what these symbols actually mean. We think they mean that there's high sugar and high butter content, or maybe high fat, maybe like that. But uh, either way, very I'm, good. I'm That's why it, it tastes so good. Yeah. So ten out of ten for me. Are we giving a nine point five? He's a tough critic. This is Bamba Halva. It says, oh, well, okay, so maybe I shouldn't know what this is. Halva is a dessert made of ground sesame seeds. It's very Mediterranean, which is why I felt it was a must sending it. The good kind you find in markets. So this is not one of my personal favorites. That is, is too sugary and processed to my taste, but I felt it was a must have for you to try. So I do love sesame flavored things. and I love sesame. Like, whenever I go to Hot Pot, sesame paste is like oh, one I know. of the best like things. So good. Woo! All right. Yeah. So, let's give it a go. Yes. And, and you've never had Bamba before. Never. Right? Oh. Well, we'll get to experience that together here in a, in a short yeah. while. Ooh. Oh, that smells so good. Those are cool. They look cool. A little round soul. Oh, yeah. This, this is gonna be a treat. Boop. Oh, they got mm. like a filling. Yeah, it's that halva filling. Okay. So it's supposed to be a sesame paste mm. filling. Um, she says it's a little bit sugary. This, which I can taste the sugar in it. Um, it's not as it's not as heavy on the sugar as those. That's the, as the, that's the, the Nutella the thing. The Nutella deal. Yeah, no, this is solid. This I is really like good because it. it's got a peanut and a sesame mm. taste, which is like I mean they're they're, they're very similar. And they complement each other very well. And they're very just like kind of fluffy. A little bit very crunchy, light. Little fluffy. Yeah, very light. Very light. I like them. I love Bamba. This is so good. Oh, these are spicy nachos Doritos. Um, so we do have spicy nachos, but I, I, I've i tried like nacho Doritos, I think in China. And they tasted very different than the, the nacho Doritos that we have in the U.S. Okay. So these might taste different. Yeah, nothing more really to say on that. But these also got uh, a little crunched up in shipping, so... We'll have to piece together like a, a slice. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's actually a lot of chips that yeah, are. Yeah, there's some. They in almost good look like condition. tortilla chips. Instead of like corn instead chip. of like a Dorito, like I'm normally used to eating, they almost look like a like a like you'd find in like a Mexican restaurant. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Boop. Which is good. They don't taste like the nacho Doritos here. Not at all. Ooh. It's got a little bit of a. The spice comes in at the just end. A little bit. Yeah, mm -hmm. It's not bad. A little bit of a slow burn. But not, it has, not too spicy though. It's got like very familiar Mexican flavors, but it's definitely not like the spicy nacho Doritos that you mm -hmm. have in the U.S. I like them. I yeah, they, they kind of almost have like a little sour creamy taste, right? A little bit of a sour cream, just a bit. Yeah, just a bit. Or maybe it's kind of like a Cool Ranch and yeah. a, and, a, and a nacho. 
Kind of, yeah. It's almost like the the infusion. Yeah, that they fuse those two flavors together. I wonder if that's to be the why it's <laughs> Yeah. So I think I'm gonna give them a seven point five. I liked them a lot. I'm gonna give them an eight. Eight. I nice. like those. I like those a lot. Nice. Okay. All right. So we got number one. Doesn't feel which, like there's anything in here. Uh, yeah. These are just like the the ba the basic bomba uh, flavor. So there's no like filling inside or anything like the, that. The picture looks like a cheese puff. Kind of, but it's going to taste more peanutty. Nice. So the description she gives here, she actually gives like two fun facts. She says the name was made to be intuitive for babies. The first words a baby usually says are mommy and daddy, which in Hebrew is Ima and Abba. Again, I'm sorry if I butchered those <laughs> pronunciations. So the sound for Bamba is easy for babies. And then fun fact number two is uh, because of Bamba, Israel has one of the lowest peanut allergy percentage in the world. Kids are exposed to peanuts from a very young age and develop some kind of immunity to it. Yeah, so I, I mean, I can see that if you grow up with, if that's something that you're, you're eating in your everyday diet, and then maybe that helps you not develop an allergy to it. I, I don't know, I'm not a scientist, but I do know that these are gonna be delicious. All so right, let's, let's, let's dig in. Yes. They're not squished. They're not squished. I'm so happy that they're not. Oh, wow. Yeah. All right, ready? Boop. They're like, it's like, like a, a Cheeto, but not a cheesy flavored Cheeto, but a peanut flavored. I mean, it's just like eating a, a salted peanut. Mm -hmm. It's just a really airy, But it's like a Cheeto peanut. consistency. Yeah. It's like if you took a peanut mm -hmm. and you just shoved air into it to where it got really fluffy, and then this is what it is. They're so good. If you like peanuts and peanut butter, like, yeah, you will love Bamba. It's good. It's so good. It's good. I like these. I'm gonna give these an eight though, because I liked the other ones better with the cream filling. Yeah, I did. I give the other ones a 9.5, the cream filling ones. I think it was a 9.5. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give these a nine because I do agree with you that sesame filling was like really yeah, awesome. Yeah, like but it. these are still super delicious. Uh, maybe I'll do 8.5 because I gave the other ones an eight. The other ones an eight. You yeah. like these better than I the other? I think I gave them an eight. No, I gave the other. One of the other snacks. All right, so now we're gonna finish with our last savory. We have two more snacks. A propro corn snack. And it says the origin of the name of this comes from the French phrase, a propos, which means, by the way. We often make some fun kind of a cheese dip to dip, in, dip this inside of, uh, or you can eat it as a quick snack. It is also naturally gluten-free. Oh yeah, so one quick thing, the bamba is gluten-free. Okay. So if you have a, a gluten allergy, that is an amazingly delicious snack that it you is. can have without having to worry about a reaction. And then these are also going to be gluten free, so that's really that's really nice. Yeah, that's what she says. So it looks like it might be like a cheese and sour cream flavor from the picture. I kind of hope so. I do too, because I love cheddar and sour yeah, cream. Yeah, and they look like bugles. They do look like bugles on the on the front. All right. Yeah, this, this looks so good. All right. Boop. Definitely cheddar. Not very strong though. No. I'm not getting the sour cream flavor though. I think it's just might be cheddar. Is it just cheddar? Maybe they're showing like you can make a dip that mm -hmm. would be good to dip. You can dip it in maybe. Yeah. It's very light on the cheddar flavor. Yeah, it's it's more subtle. I taste but it's more good. the corn chip than I do. And I like that. Yeah. I like that it's not like this overpoweringly artificial. So that you can flavor. actually dip yeah, it. Yeah, so you can dip and, it in. Yeah. yeah. Very it. solid snack. I could I could eat those anytime. Yeah. Those are good. Especially with some good dip. I think those would be amazing with like a good sour cream dip. Yeah. Like one of those, oof. Yeah. I got, just wait, I got some stuff downstairs. Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> all right, and then last but not least, 54. we have, all right, so this says it is, oh man, here's another butchering of, <laughs> of this. Ad Hatzat, which means till midnight. It's a crunchy biscuit on one side and it's covered in milk chocolate. People really love it here. It is simple yet so yummy and perfect next to a cup of coffee. These look a lot like uh, there's a Milka chocolate biscuit combo that is like my favorite Milka thing ever. And they're so, so good. And that's why and you want to save these That's why I want to save these for last because I think they're going to be just as delicious. They look good. All right, let's try it out. Okay. Bigger than when I remember the milk. Oh, holy. I think they're melted together. Yeah, they melted together. <laughs> I was gonna say, if that's one, holy moly. You have to eat the whole thing. I think you're gonna There's have one to. Brick. I mean, it's a are brick. You able to... Boop. Going in. You forgot to cheers. Cheers. 
Mm. Yes. They taste like the Milka one. And the milk chocolate, Israeli milk chocolate, is similar to German chocolate in that it blows American chocolate out of it. This is really good. It is good. That biscuit, it's like, because if it was just solid milk chocolate, I think it would be way way too rich. But that biscuit helps kind of like cut cut through that a little Mm -hmm. bit and and lets you eat more. Yeah. Which (laughs) is bad. Yeah. (laughs) But good. But good. I don't know how we're going to eat dinner after this. <laughs> we'll push through. We'll push through. We got to. All right. Well, I think I'm going to give this a 9.5. I'm doing Because doing okay. that Bomba with a sesame filling, did I give that a 9.5 as well? Yeah. I actually like it more. So I'm going to give this a 9. Okay. That's what I was really going to say. Yeah, it was a 9. A 9. It's I like the... It's I like really the, good. But those, that Bomba... With the, with the hazel with the hazelnut or the, or sesame. the sesame filling, yeah. um, I liked a little bit better. And then didn't I give a ten to something? I gave it. I still hazelnut. like the first chips we tried. So the well, let's. I think let's pick a favorite savory. Okay. And a favorite sweet. Okay. Um, and then we can try to do a favorite overall <laughs> if you want. But I think my favorite savory. I think I'm gonna have. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the uh, the the first chips. The first we tried. chips we tried. The barbecue that's, that's, chips. Yeah, and that's what I'm going with. Yeah, those there. Yep, these are my favorite savory snack. And then my favorite sweet. Sweet! That's his favorite yep, sweet. Yep, the hazelnut. And I and this is like... This is my favorite This sweet. is his favorite, and this is like a super close second. Yeah. Like, they, these are very close together. Yeah. Vice versa for me. So, yeah, I think that, 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 that... I mean, unless you have a very strong opinion on, like, one being the best of everything, savory or sweet... If I was going to choose something savory and sweet, it would be these guys. Yeah, because they're a little bit savory because they have the peanut yeah. taste. Uh, yeah, all right. Well, that's fair enough. Yeah. Well, that's going to bring us to the end of the video. We had a lot of, of delicious Israeli snacks yes. to try. Thank they you, were a lot Netta. Of fun. Yes. Thank you very much, Netta. And thank you, Sean, for experiencing these yeah. glorious snacks awesome. with me. I would not have this opportunity anywhere else, I think. I know, yeah, because uh, Matt has been the one that's been able to try the first two. I know, I've been two. very jealous of Matt <laughs> trying all these. <laughs> yeah. So I'm glad you finally did made your way yeah, down. Yeah, so I wanted, since I was coming, I was like, you know, it'd be fun, it'd be fun to, to bring some of these snacks down and do do some reviews with, with Nene here yeah. in person. So glad we were able to do it. I hope you guys at home enjoyed this as well. And if you did, please make sure you give the like button a smash because it does really help the channel out. Please make sure you're subscribed and hit the bell notification so as soon as new videos pop up, you'll be the first to know about it. Thank you so much for sticking around to the end. And until next time, stay curious.